right, hello. Thank you for joining me. My name is Joseph, and today I am joined by Mark Bautista. Mark Bautista, how are you doing? I'm the uh, Senior Director of North America Sales here at Splashdown. Thanks for having me. Dude, first thank you. One. Thank you first so much for many. joining us. Get oh, ready. I hope first of many. It's so <laughs> exciting. So to kind of introduce yourself, introduce yourself to the people here. How long have you been working in like the RMAM enterprise tech world or tech in sure. general? Sure. So career-wise, I've been in um, SaaS tech sales for almost 20 years. I may look young, but I'm on the older end. You know? Wait, 20 years? 20 years. Yeah, had yeah, yeah. You, so, I would not have guessed. I'm 44. And so, yes, I, I chalk it up to Pacific Islander skin. You know, that's how that is. But uh, RMM-wise, I'm, I'm newer into the space, but because of everybody here at Splashtop, after, you know, my time here, I feel like I've been caught up. I'm almost like an industry expert. What happens when you immerse yourself here at Splashtop with all the help from everybody? It's just phenomenal. There's a lot of knowledge here yeah. to Don't just get me soak wrong. up every day. Don't get me wrong. There's a lot more I can look <laughs> at, but I, I feel like I have a good, good grasp of what we're doing here, which is great. No, that's awesome. So tell us a little bit more about your current role here at yeah. Splashtop. Yeah, so like I said, I'm uh, I'm the senior director of North America. Uh, I oversee our uh, new business advocates, and so the team that rolls up to me, uh, they're responsible of taking on new inquiries, customers that aren't Splash Top uh, customers yet. And so it's all about just exploring. You know, are we replacing somebody, or or how how do we help them kind of solve their whether it's remote access issues, whatever it may be. Um, and they kind of just sh show it from soup to nuts. You know, they demo it, they present it with the help of our sales engineers. And of course, we walk them through the whole cycle and we hand off to our account management team, which is phenomenal. Um, and that's that's my team's goal, right? Bringing new logos uh, and just kind of expanding out the Splashtop brand. That's a lot to handle. We've got that whole gamut of from hello to goodbye, yeah. passing you on. <laughs> yeah, that's the that's the simple way of saying what my team does. But at the end of the day, it's just you know they do core account executive um, work, which is it's it's very fun in this space. So in our space here in the tech IT world, uh, as the world continues to shift towards hybrid work, as we've experienced here ourselves, how are you seeing IT departments learn to adapt? Yeah, so it's a it's a funny world post pandemic. Um, you know, the pandemic pushed everybody remote at one point, right? And I think everyone tried to adapt fast, but like you've seen it, depending, even even big logos, Fortune 500, it it's very hard. It's very hard to adapt. And the space I came from prior to joining the Splash Top, um, you know, it was something where I directly experienced it. Like my my team before, we were all in the office and now they're all dispersed. And that's kind of where... Uh, things kind of get a little bit scary for IT uh, and 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 the IT directors is how do you how do you control this madness now that everybody is remote? You don't know what type of solutions or like equipment they have or what are my employees accessing the systems. So I think post pandemic it really threw everybody into a into a weird kind of <laughs> panic, and now that's become part of the norm with a lot of different companies. It's, you know, how do I evolve the way I'm managing my devices, my people, my security, and, and how do you keep that flexibility? And, and that's, that's just where we are now. And mm -hmm. that's, that's why I came to Splash Shop is I, it was such a, you know, experience it on the other side. And now I get to run with the team that kind of helped spread on how do we solve your issues? I think that's, what's been the most fun. Yeah. Especially with, I mean, like you already mentioned, in a post-pandemic world where so many IT teams kind of had that realization that at any moment, everyone might just be at home and we don't know what equipment they have. Mm -hmm. We don't know what their tech savviness is. Yeah. And IT teams need to be ready to adapt to that. So coming out of the pandemic, that's now been a huge part of that planning process for every IT team. Yeah. It's something that they didn't really have to consider before because they could have controlled it in office. Correct. Yeah. You're really, you have, you have the ultimate control in office, right? What 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 systems are accessing like whether it's Wi-Fi or what solutions, what tools you control it right. Mm -hmm. And so once everyone dispersed, that's when it really became like a very 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 hot topic on how do we keep everything secure from networks to like laptops, like just to that granularity. So yeah, it's it's been it's been an interesting ride, but it's good for us at Splash Shop because you know it's. There's a lot of opportunity for us and to kind of spread the message on how to how to keep your company secure. 
No, absolutely. I mean, I think you're already about to lean into the next question I wanted to ask, which is, what are some of the biggest challenges you hear from IT professionals uh, as you're talking to them and it yep. comes to managing remote access and remote support? From the forefront of it now, it's really security. I think the evolution, like I, I like to say like scammers have always exist in, in some form. Like even my, even my dad was hit by a scammer recently and I had to kind of walk them back to the reality of that's not real. Mm -hmm. And when companies are all in the office, you know, it's easier to control that. And I think even with the best training um, in person, once everyone's dispersed, you know, you could have the best training, but you still need some other safeguards behind that because it doesn't matter. These scammers are 24 seven, you know, I'll take to somebody reading an email at five in the morning and accidentally clicking something and you blow up a whole network. Yep. Like I've experienced that at my past company where you know, there's these phishing emails and, you know, it looks real. Like you got to understand the evolution of the scammer world. They are very good now. Like, and they can manipulate things where it seems real enough where it could take down a whole network, you know, whether it's a whole corporate network or like one little site. And so that's where you, you know, the IT like leaders, they need solutions like Splashtop because it gives them that peace of mind. Um, and on top of that flexibility. I think that's the thing that we're encountering more and more is how do you become more flexible? Because it's clear that remote work and just kind of hybrid work, it's not going away. It's here to stay um, in some form or factor. Mm -hmm. And that's that's kind of what we've we've seen. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, talking about those security concerns, talking about scammers, and now we're seeing such evolutions like these scammers are starting to use AI mm -hmm. and deep fakes. Oh yeah. Very and so scary. it's not even enough of just like, <laughs> oh, does is is this email from the right domain? You might get a phone call mm -hmm. and it might not be the person you actually think you're talking to. Yeah. So like you said, as much training as you can put in place, you need to have more security safeguards. A hundred percent. Because it like you said, it only takes one incident yeah. to bring down a whole company. Yeah. And we've seen it happen so many times yeah. this year, last year, and just I'm sure we're going to see more, unfortunately. Yeah, you see it on the news all the time, right? And they do advertise it on, like, national news. Like, be aware of these types of scams, these types of fakes, these deep AI fakes where they're, I mean, it, it's to the point now where the deep AI can mimic your own daughter. I mean, that's, if your daughter or your child has some things out on social media, it can pull the yeah. audio. And now it's almost like you're engaged with your own child, like they need help and you need to wire money. Kind of scary. <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> yeah. And that's that's been a shift that we've seen recently in priorities with IT teams of just the security and and the knowledge that we are putting with our workers to mm -hmm. make sure that everyone's staying secure, everyone's staying up to date with what's yep. being, you know, shared on the news, what's the latest trends mm -hmm. that we're seeing with these security concerns. Yep. Because again, it's scary. <laughs> exactly like you mentioned. It, it's a scary time and security is number one right now. Yeah. With, I mean, with all the customers that you've talked to recently, have you seen any particularly challenging situations that you've helped a customer through? Yeah, it comes down to like, how do they deploy? Um, and, and is it an easy process? And I think that's what we're, we pride ourselves here on Splashtop. It's from, from start to finish, we assist these customers, we handhold them. We show them how it can be easy to deploy because there's people in this space where their solutions isn't that intuitive. It is hard to deploy. You do run into roadblocks where we're here and we, we try our best to integrate into the way they need us to integrate into their system mm -hmm. where it feels natural and it's easy to, to, to learn for, you know, not only just the technicians, but even their end users and their, and like the people internal to their company that are customers, so like different departments. So with that, it's it's just it's just a different vibe that we have here at Splashtop. We want to help these customers by education because we know that it it takes a little bit extra to deploy something like Splashtop. Like it we know that's part of it. And that's why, you know, <laughs> our customers love us. And that's why it shows on a number of different areas, right? Net promoter scores, trust radius sites, you'll see that constantly like the type of kudos our team, not just sales. I mean, it's across the board, customer success, support. I mean, just anyone that is in this building or remotely, because we are remote as well, 
uh, they they everyone's in for the the customer. We want to help them, and we know the customer experience will help us out and kind of get us more advocates. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we were talking so much about security, and it's really interesting to see as we've seen other products in this space and we've seen our own product that when it comes to deployment. We talk so much about security, but you almost don't even need to worry about mm -hmm. setting it up with Splashtop because all those safeguards are already in place. Yep. And you have our support team and our account executive and account manager team helping with all that setup process so that you almost don't even need to think about it when you're starting out. It just comes ready to, ready to go out of the box. Yep. That is the kudos we get. It's It was a great process from start to finish of deployment with Splashtop. They can't, they can't speak volumes of the effort, everyone. Like, that's a common note I get from decision makers all the time. And I think that's phenomenal. And it just really speaks to the product. Yeah, it's been really special being part of this team and being part of a company that everyone has that same goal of just wanting to help the customer. And even as newer employees come in, like, uh, I think you even mentioned on one of your first introductions with the team that you immediately noticed that was that everyone was just so happy to help. Oh, yeah. And it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's a layer of like, I could see that not everyone was like, had this bearing of stress on them. It's just an end goal. Everyone was all in on the goal. Like it didn't matter what department we were in, if there's a customer issue, which we rarely have, honestly. And, and that was part of why I onboarded. And, you know, when I interviewed with the leadership team here, you know, one of the questions I asked was how's escalations and they you know, they told me, oh, it's it's not that many. I didn't believe them until uh, <laughs> I really started to dig. And I'm like, there really isn't many escalations here. The product works. Mm -hmm. I came from a world where, you know, there's a lot of different factors when, you know, you sell a, 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 like a SaaS product that we used to sell where there's issues. And I think the fun part here is if there's like, if there's any sort of issue, you have everyone willing to help solve the issue whatever it may be. And, and it's in such a timely manner. I think that's what was so amazing to see by the team here. And that's what impressed me. Yeah. I mean, again, you're beating me to all my own questions, oh, but <laughs> we're talking. <laughs> no, it's perfect. I mean, I think that kind of answers itself. I was going to ask, you know, we're talking about Splashtop. We're talking about these IT teams. Mm -hmm. And I was going to ask how does Splashtop make life easier for someone in an IT team? And I think that speaks so, for itself. Yeah, I, I've hit on some of it, but it does kind of have a flexibility on their end too, yeah. right? Because it's like every environment is going to be different. I mean, there's so many different um, devices and it's always evolving. I think that's the thing about the space we're in. It's always going to evolve. Scamming will always evolve. Phishing will always evolve. And that's why, I mean, we keep up with that. I mean, a third of this company is engineers. And so that tells you how much we value the solution and the product and making sure it's always evolving with the space and customers' needs. And so we're trying to be on top of it all the time. And so even in the case if a customer needs something, they can come to us with a use case. And if it's something we haven't done already, which most of the time I feel like it's already, the gap's already been filled, um, and we see it to be valuable for other organizations, guess what? We have the team that could go rebuild, deploy, put on a roadmap, and that's what... That's another thing that really kind of light bulb went on my head. I was like, wow, we this product evolves. I mean, I've worked for companies in the past where you launch a product or a solution and that's it gets minor updates. Mm -hmm. We we are constantly evolving this product where it's just like it's just like a full blown like platform, which is phenomenal. Yeah, that's been something that with all these videos, it's been so hard for me not to talk about yeah. knowing what's coming down the roadmap yeah. <laughs> yeah. and how this product is evolving. We talk about how this solution's helping IT teams today. Mm -hmm. I think when we, if we talk again a year from now, oh, it'll be completely, completely different. Completely yeah, different. yeah, you can't even believe what's coming up. Can't share that yet. Not yet. One day. Soon though. One Very day. soon. One hopefully. day. <laughs> <laughs> but so talking about these IT teams, how do you see that they're kind of working towards balancing uh, physical teams in the office and teams that are remote using solutions like Splash? Talk? Yeah. So. <laughs> The funny part of trying to oversee a hybrid type organization is the amount of, like, there's a lot of stress and, and the IT org will wear it because if you have people like on vacation or, you know, if you're, you have multiple offices, like it's an security is a key thing and it's hard to control if everybody's dispersed. And so. You know, you could have a number of different solutions in place and it is hard to manage. But something like Splashtop, 
covering all the bases with is just the accessibility, the flexibility of it, one solution. It gives that ease of knowing like you have that solution in place to protect the company because that's the core of what they have to implement is mm -hmm. we need to have something to protect us when all of our training can't, right? Because like I said, like everyone will have a weird moment where I don't know what this is. I might click it, you know? <laughs> yeah. Because like, they're very good now. And so it it is it is taking off a layer of stress off the IT world, um, which they appreciate. And the flexibility, because, you know, like, like the pandemic showed, one day everyone could go home, right? I mean, you never know what's coming, but knowing you have a solution that could scale and move with you, I mean, you can't, you can't put your money on that. It's just, it's just so worth it. Absolutely. Having a scalable solution, having a platform like Splash Top where you're able to handle all of your endpoint management yep. from one dashboard. You're able to see all the mm -hmm. devices, whether they are in office, whether they are yep. remote, are they updated? Is uh, the antivirus software showing any threats that you need to take care of and remediate immediately? Being able to manage all of that in one place. So even if your teams are thousands of miles apart, your dashboard's all on one page mm -hmm. and you're able to see it all at a glance. It's it's a huge step forward with what needs to happen yeah. with remote teams. Yeah. And like I said, it's like stress-free almost. Exactly. Right? Yeah. Let us do the heavy lifting for you and away you go. Right. You, you just should... open a web browser, look at the dashboard yeah. and all the information that you've had to dig for before is right there. Yep. I think as we're starting to wrap up our time here, the last question I wanted to ask is, what do you recommend as the first step for any organization looking to implement a remote access and support tool? Whether you have a tool or you don't have a tool. I mean, the number one thing you could do, right? That, I mean, whether it's this space we're in or any other space, look at like advocates of, of like the solution, right? What are people saying about it? Like actual users. I mean, there's a lot of different rating websites, trust radius, et cetera, where they'll tell you the actual customer experience where like, they're not gonna lie on there. They will tell you the experience. And then where we go another step further is we back our product so strong, we will let you use it, try it. We'll help you deploy it, right? And I think once you touch and feel it and understand like, okay, that was very easy to deploy. I mean, we're not trying to sell you anymore. It's, you've seen the value. You've, you, you're watching it live during your trial. And so, you know, when I, when my team and myself are talking to these different prospects, it's look, by all means, try it. If there's any gaps in the solution, we'd love to walk you through it. And if there's something we're missing, Maybe it's something that's on the roadmap, but most of the time it will solve all their needs. And I think that's one of the, one of the main pieces of feedback I always get is, mm -hmm. you know, we ask, is there anything you see missing in, um, you know, your proof of concept you're running with us? And it's always, no, it's actually checked all the boxes. <laughs> and I'm like, all right, great. <laughs> and what's great is with us, when you do your proof of concepts and the trials, we convert that straight to a live environment. You're not doing this legwork to redo it a second time. Mm -hmm. You're doing it and we're confident that you will deploy it with us because that's how confident everyone here is with Splashtop. I mean, that's top down from mm -hmm. the founders to, to my boss's boss and all the way down. Like we all believe in the product and that's why we want people to, to try it for yeah. free. No, absolutely. I mean, free. That's that was the one part. Th I, th I didn't realize that it's one of the few softwares that when you trial it, there is no commitment mm -hmm. and you're trialing the full software. 100%. Like you said, it it is the full environment. The only difference between you going from a trial to a subscription is we had a payment method and we had a uh, end date for the subscription. Mm -hmm. And that's it. All the same features yeah. are there, all the same management and setup that you've already had to go through. It's all there. So what you see in the trial is exactly where you're going to get in the subscription. 100%. So if you're watching this, go trial Splash Top today. It'll be worth it. Nice. I think that wraps it up perfectly. Thank you, Mark, again for joining. Thanks me. for having me. I'd love to be on again. You say the word. Oh, I'm I'm sure we'll have <laughs> plenty more conversations. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.